Hi friends! I'm in the studio and I'm so excited to share that I got a hold of these two new Distress Watercolor Pencils from Tim Holtz and Ranger. So it's Watercolor Pencil Set 1 and Set 2 and I just thought it'd be fun to play around with them and show you what they're like because I don't do much with watercolor pencils and I thought I would invite you to attempt playing with them with me. I have really been in flow and sort of experimenting with different mediums. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and be sure to leave any questions or comments below. I'm hoping to do more videos for you all. I'm going to share a little bit of the experimental process in this journal, which I think you all have seen a little bit about where it started. I think I shared that I started it in 2019 and then restarted it in 2022. If you're anything like me, I'm really good at starting journals, but not so good at finishing them. However, this one is about done. So I love the fact that I have all kinds of memories in here. I'm incorporating journaling. I'm putting whatever I feel needs to be in here. So it's really about connecting with ease and flow for me this year and clarifying with intentionality, inviting spaciousness and expansiveness with ease, honoring my values, hoping and healing. You've seen some of this before. If you were in my free workshop from a while ago, then you did this vision board with me. I think I did this in a YouTube video actually. So you're seeing that there are different sorts of elements here. I was playing with some watercolor and here's where I sampled these color spot markers. Perhaps you saw that on my Instagram. 18 months of joy for Juniper, which now she's 22 months, my goodness. And some jelly printing fun here some of Juniper's contribution, a little bit of watercolor, and there's one more page left, you all. Can you believe that? This is amazing. And I believe that doing more of what makes you happy is essential to our well-being and creativity. So here I'm going to open up, let's see, let's just open up set one. Ooh, these are so beautiful. So it comes with this plastic on top, which I recommend keeping, I believe, so that you can have your set be nice and neat. And you can see that the colors are printed directly onto the pencils, which are so beautiful. And of course, Tim Holtz makes everything match his colors. And he's just such an inspiration with everything that he creates. I love that these are vibrant. I'm a big fan of bright colors, as you know. Oh, look, it comes out, okay. <laughs> See, you're making discoveries along the way, right alongside me. Here is set number two, which I'm going to take out this as well. There are plenty of videos, I'm sure, demonstrating how to actually use these. This is not one of them. This is just going to be fun experimentation. I am going to also grab a Tim Holtz water brush, which I've had for years. I think that this is, gosh, from like 20, oh my goodness. Like it's very, very old and very, very used. But as you can see, the nib is still nice and pointy. So I filled it with water. I'm also going to have handy just a jar of water in case I feel like experimenting bigger and a couple of larger brushes too because I don't know what's going to happen here. This is my first time using these <laughs> and I love that we can play around together. You know I'm going to start with this picked raspberry because it's so gorgeous. And let's just see. Ooh. Somehow I want to turn this into a heart. Okay, I have never really used watercolor pencils. They somewhat intimidate me and I don't even know if I'm doing it right. I don't believe personally there's a wrong way to approach art supplies. You might think differently. 
and that's okay. I believe that art supplies are supposed to be enjoyed, used, and played with, right? It's supposed to bring out the fun. So as I'm not knowing what I'm doing here, all right, you can see the makings of a heart. And I feel inspired to add a little bit of maybe fossilized amber in here. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But sometimes that's the fun of going with the flow. I've been giving myself a lot of permission to play this year. This is spiced marmalade. Okay, I'm barely gonna put any there. All right, let's see what happens when we add a little bit of water to this. And because it's a bigger space, I'm not going to take that brush. I'm just gonna take this one. This is a size 10 brush. And I'm just going to, oh my goodness, are you seeing this? Okay, typically I don't try these videos without uh, live, <laughs> without adding voiceover to them because my reactions are sometimes a little too much for people. <laughs> but I have to tell you, this is so gorgeous. The way the water just Oh my goodness, okay. The way it's really working with the pencil is something I have not experienced before because maybe that's what I'm missing out on with watercolor pencils and not having played with them. But it almost feels like a watercolor crayon pencil to me because the richness of the color and the vibrancy really comes through. I've I have other watercolor pencils that feel more like colored pencils, but this, wow, look at that. You all, are you seeing that? I hope you're seeing it. Look at that. Wow, okay, I, I added a little too much water there. I got too excited about showing you up close and then I wasn't paying attention. But I love that. Okay, so let's let that dry. And now I'm going to just place some water here and see what happens when I take a different color. Twisted Citron. Okay, so it doesn't really work if you do it on top of the water. And you can see that the paper, I, <laughs> this is the wrong way to use it. There is a wrong way, apparently. I'm gonna use some mustard seed. And I, instead I'm going to go above where I put the water. Now let's see. Oh wow. There is so much vibrancy that comes out. I love this. Okay, this is where I messed up and I, I tried to do the crayon on top of the wetness. Hmm, not supposed to do that because that is peeling up the paper. This is a Jane Davenport watercolor book. So it's actually watercolor paper, but you can see there that that has created a mess. But guess what? Once it dries, I'm just gonna put a sticker on it. There's always a solution. If life worked that way too, where you could just put a sticker on something, as soon as you make a mistake, oops, let's put a sticker on it. Now, let's go into this rusty hinge. Okay, I don't know why, <laughs> but since I have that heart shape, I feel like I should just make more hearts, but maybe I'll make a little ball here. That's Rusty Hinge. And here is a smaller brush. Ooh, I put too much water there, I think. Okay, that was my bad. I squeezed way too much water. But you can see what happens. You get a really, really light effect when you use a little too much water. That's okay. 
This is all about giving ourselves permission to play and seeing what happens. I'm going to mix a few blues here. Because I really like it when it's vibrant. That was Salty Ocean. Let's throw in some Mermaid Lagoon here. And one more. Cracked Pistachio, my, one of my favorite colors. Okay, and now I'm gonna try not to have too much water. There's still a little bit of this on there. Look at how nice that is. I love that. We're going to let this dry and I'm going to grab another sheet of watercolor paper and oh actually you know what I, I'm instead of doing watercolor paper I'm going to show you how it works in a planner. I am more than oh, 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 okay. I feel the sun shining on my face. I'm in the game today and you're the reason why I'm feeling so oh, oh, all right. Well I could almost touch the sky. is almost dry. I can just take my heat tool to it. Speed up the process. Oh, it's so much more than oh, 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 okay. I feel the sun shining on my face. I'm in the game today and you're the reason why I'm feeling so oh, oh, all right. Well, I could almost touch the sky and you're the reason why I'm feeling more than from Mandy Ford, oops, and an ambulance. Well, I could almost touch the sky. You're the reason why I'm feeling more than, feeling more than fine. This Happy Planner Sage book is full of Fun little sayings. I'm looking for something to go here. Look through your stash, cut up some stickers, add some doodles, whatever finishing touches you want. Okay, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing how these watercolor pencils work. And I finished the last page in my <laughs> journal, which is an accomplishment in itself. I am so happy. It just flowed together. Is it my favorite page? No, but is it done? Yes, and that is what's important. I enjoyed the process. I hope you enjoyed the process of seeing it come together as well. 
Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave any questions and comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you feel inspired to get those creative juices flowing.